Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina at Valentina. And we run a real estate and design business in the Atlanta area for those of you who are tuning in for the first time. And we've been, oh my goodness, we've been so busy lately with so many amazing projects. Make sure you check out the last couple videos because they are loaded with inspiration. So many beautiful makeovers that we've been doing and we have a lot more coming, so make sure you hit subscribe. But today's video is all about trends that you are going to be obsessed over. And I hate to use the word trends because let's be honest, trends are usually one of the things that a lot of us avoid, but these are trends that you are not gonna want to avoid. They are ones that you are going to want to join and you are gonna be just as obsessed over as we are. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let me take a sip of my coffee. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I think you guys are gonna love these. All right, sip of coffee and let's go. Number one is exoticism. <laughs> Let me say that word twice, exoticism, because my husband is not here at the moment. He's in some meetings today and usually he would raise his eyebrow and say, what did you say? <laughs> We're talking about travel and exotic locations, something that has a little bit of that slightly forbidden, almost kind of, you, you just haven't even been there. It's something so different from anything you've ever experienced. And that to me is what exoticism represents. And it is everywhere right now. I really believe that we are entering the age of travel. I'm calling it, <laughs> I'm just calling it. I should just name that the whole video, the age of travel, because I think that that is what we are about to enter into. And everywhere I go, every place online, everywhere there is some exotic location represented. It really doesn't even matter what your style is. Right now, of course, we're in the middle of the summer, so places like Brazil and African locations that are tropical, you've got the Bahamas and so many, oh, Mexico, I, I could go on and on. But really that sort of exotic, sort of tropical thing is all in for the summertime, but what I think you're going to see is that this exoticism, this idea of going somewhere that you've never been before it's going to be super on trend for a really long time and I absolutely love it it's on trend you're gonna be seeing it everywhere people are just ready to get out they're ready to go somewhere new they're excited to explore and so this idea of exoticism is going nowhere so if you want to jump on this trend which I highly recommend there's a few things that you're gonna to want to be on the lookout for of course, don't try to create a, well, you could create a tropical retreat no matter where you are in the world. You can do that, but you could also just bring in, but you could also just bring in some tropical florals for the summertime. You can grab some of the vases that are out there. You're gonna find that this trend also celebrates artisanal handicrafts, and I love that. Wow, I love that because I think that those handicrafts are something that should really be protected. We lived in Morocco. Well, we lived overseas for 12 years, but we lived in Morocco for three years and I bought as many handmade items that I possibly could while we were there. I thought that that local culture was something that was so special and unique. And I love being able to support that local handicraft. So I say go for it, even if you're gonna be shopping on West Elm. There's so many options, places like West Elm, CB2, even places like Pottery Barn, everybody's getting on it. Even places like Serena and Lily, they're really just trying to stretch us out of our own backyard and take us to somewhere new. And even if you don't even go there in person, but you bring a little bit of that home, even in your backyard, you can have this sense that you've been somewhere and I for one am all into it. A trend that I am obsessed with, <laughs> you can't even hardly talk about it without not being able to breathe, but yes, New Nordic is a trend that I think everyone is really getting into. You really see this influence in so many different ways, in so many different styles. New Nordic is all about Scandinavian design being reimagined. So you're gonna see a lot of the same handicraft items, those classic iconic pieces that everybody just kind of knows from mid-century modern, but they're being twisted into a new, they're being twisted into a new style and you can expect something that's a lot warmer, you can expect lime washed walls, you can expect uh, warm beiges and these sort of really warm, rich tones. It's something that I don't think we've seen 
out of Scandinavia for a really long time. And this one has been on trend for a while, but I think the trends tend to need some time to really sit and simmer with us until we're ready to jump on them. And this one is definitely here to stay. The places, again, West Elm and CB2, you can see that things have really transitioned. So you won't see as much mid-century modern pieces. You're gonna see a lot more wood pieces. And they are locally made in Scandinavia and they're really, sell you can see where all of these trends just kind of come together. It's the idea of exoticism and heritage and craftsmanship craftsmanship, that's hard to say, putting all that together into this new Nordic style, these trends just literally just come straight out of Scandinavia. And I think it's really beautiful. I've struggled with some of the lime wash aspects of this style. I think I'm probably gonna be sticking with my own white walls. And I'm very curious. I'm very, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm gonna be in Scandinavia literally in a few days. It's happening. Like, please just let us get there. <laughs> I'm so afraid that something is going to happen. Somebody's gonna get sick or something. I don't know. I'm just so scared that something's gonna happen. But we should, hopefully, a uh, little Southern saying is, Lord will it in the creek don't rise. <laughs> in Arabic, it's inshallah, if the Lord wills it. <laughs> We're gonna be in Scandinavia. We're gonna be in Copenhagen and we are gonna be filming. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling the entire time. And we're gonna be visiting the showrooms. I'm dying to see this style from the source, direct from the source. I wanna see it there. I wanna see what they're doing. Are they all lime washing their walls still? Are they all going beige? I saw in one of the latest magazines, I, I still subscribe to the magazines and have them shipped every year to the US. And um, one of the last issues of the design magazine that I got, there were a lot of white walls. And I thought that was really interesting. One of the things that I am most excited about for going to, one of the things that I'm most excited about Copenhagen how do you say that? One of the things I'm most excited about doing. One of the, one of the things I'm most excited about seeing and sharing. One of the things that I am most excited about sharing with you guys from Copenhagen is the hotel because we have booked a hotel that is everything that we've been wanting to share with you guys here on this channel when we talk about Scandinavian design, that new Nordic style. I mean, you're not gonna believe the hotel that we are staying at. I have given it a little bit of thought about what I was gonna actually pack. But one of the things that I always pack with me is my pillow. And I wanted to share this with you because they are our video sponsor for today. This pillow is extra special because it is from Marlo, which is a sister brand to Brooklinen, which we've shared with you so many times. They are the luxury linen company that is out of Brooklyn that we tell you guys about all the time. Cuts out the middleman, gives you luxury sheets at affordable prices. We have them on our beds. They're like so soft and wonderful. And they have a pillow company called Marlo. So Marlo, Marlo is a brand designed to give you a better sleep. And the best part is, is that right now you can buy two Marlo pillows and save 25% or buy four pillows and save 40% with my link below. I have all, I never used to travel with my pillow. I, I never did when I was younger. We've traveled all over the world. And after a lot of really miserable nights sleep, I finally realized that I need to take my pillow with me. So when I discovered that I'm gonna take it out of the out of my uh, Brooklyn and pillowcase here, when I discovered that Brooklyn and also had this pillow company and was making pillows, I need to do learn. I needed to learn more about this. You guys know that I'm really funny when I'm putting together a bedroom. I think it's really nice that they're actually giving you a discount on two and four because I think you should buy four. And the reason why is because all of your pillow sizes should match on your bed. And that way you have a nice uniform look. I say just go for it. And if you're gonna go for it, go for the Marlowe pillow because this one has the cooling infused memory foam. It provides a perfect balance between comfort and support. It's backed with years of research. They really do deliver you the best rest. One of the things that I've never seen before and I think it's the coolest feature ever is the fact that this comes, look, first of all, how cute is this with that green, this color green? So on trend right now. Has anybody else noticed this color, Kelly green, being so in? Yeah, that's just another trend that I love. Um, Bottega Veneta happening right here. <laughs> that color green is so popular in fashion. And um, here it is in home. So the coolest part about this is that it has a zipper. 
So the first night I used mine, I kept it zipped and I was like, mm, you know, oh, I have, like you can see my hair on it. <laughs> because I actually use it, okay? <laughs> but um, the first night I did not sleep with the zipper open and I was like, mm. my husband loved it. His first night's sleep was the best. I realized that we sleep differently. So <laughs> I opened the zipper and it makes it fluffier and softer. I'm not joking. I cannot believe the technology that is represented here. This is quite literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I love the fact that Marlowe's fill of chopped memory foam contours to your neck. It's also a hyperallergenic down alternative microfiber, which gives the feeling of down without lifting a feather. That is amazing because you guys know, I've always said I like the down pillows for the bed. It's all I'm gonna use. And then here comes the Marlowe pillow and it just completely blew my mind. And I just wanted to tell you, I'm taking this with me <laughs> to Europe because I can't I can't go without my pillow. So I'm gonna be taking my pillow with me. You can actually just kind of, it comes kind of flat packed, but you can actually even just roll it. You can, it's the perfect travel companion and I am so excited about it. So click the link below to give yourself a Marlowe pillow and change the way you sleep. Right now you can purchase two pillows and get 25% off or four pillows and get 40% off. That is a wonderful price and I know that you guys are going to love it. I hope you wanna go with us to Copenhagen and see this style and explore and see is new Nordic taking a transition now that we have moved into the age of travel? Is that going to affect the style? Is it gonna change? This style is definitely one that has been having a heyday for quite some time on big websites, just like the others. West Elm and uh, CB2, uh, Crate and Barrel has definitely gotten onto it. I feel like Lulu and Georgia is another site that you can see a lot of, this, a lot of these items that are there. It's a little bit like Scandinavia, and California cool, like the, that combination on that site. But I think you can find a lot of sources to find these things anywhere in the world. But you know, obviously we're, <laughs> we're sourcing in the US ourselves. The next trend is all about heritage. And I think that this is quite possibly one of the best, I, I'm, I'm freaking out over this trend. I love this. I think that we are definitely going to see more and more people celebrating their heritage and really trying to buy products and putting their homes together based off of their own heritage. And I love that so much. This is something that I've always been really into. It's something that I think is really amazing, of course, because we lived overseas for 12 years. We've traveled to all different places and been in homes. I just, I can't even tell you how many people were so wonderful to open their homes up to us. And seeing how people live in so many different places has always made me really aware that this idea of your heritage and who you are is really, it's, it should be intertwined into your home style. And so I think it's gonna be one that we're gonna see a lot more of. I think you're gonna see a lot of local handicrafts that get that are more popular. So if you have a heritage that maybe, I feel like in the US we're a melting pot. So sometimes we, we don't think about our heritage as much. My parents ingrained it into my head that I was Greek. And if you watched my sister's renovation, you saw a lot of Greek key. There's a lot of this idea of the Aegean blue that we have to include in everything. There was always this sort of pride, just like big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> That's my family. <laughs> but that sort of heritage is something that maybe it's not local to Atlanta, but it's something that's particular to me. And so I think you're gonna see both sides of this trend. You're gonna see your personal heritage and you're gonna see local heritage. Local heritage will include uh, all kinds of things from whatever species of wood is local to your area, what handicrafts are local to your area. Um, for me, I found that I've been wanting to buy more and more Greek handcrafts because I want to be able to support that heritage that I have. And that's the fun for you is getting to explore your heritage, whether it's local or it's somewhere that you've come from. I think that that is so cool. It's so amazing. And it's really all about this idea, which is an overarching trend. I wish it would just become permanent that we all just embrace 
the uniqueness of who we are and celebrate that in our homes. And that's, that's really not a trend, is it? That's what we should all be doing because if you ever want to know why your home doesn't feel like home, it's probably because you're missing this key piece because a home's never, it's just going to be a house until you make it your own, you put your stamp on it and you celebrate the rich heritage and your rich story that you have. And if you're looking for places to shop, I think that a lot of places are actually, I would shop as local as possible. But if you're looking online, you're gonna find that there's a lot more places like Etsy that you can go to and you can support. Maybe you're like for me, I'm gonna look up places and you can actually put on Etsy that you want something that's gonna ship from Greece and you can support an artist living in Greece. Local heritage is a big deal, but even if you want to be able to celebrate companies that are celebrating heritage, you can even look on places like CB2. They just came out with a collection called the Lawson Fenning Collection. And that collection is all about the approach to materials and craftsmanship. It's an expertly blended natural elements with the rich heritage of California craft. There's no thresholds, only transportative design. I think that's really, really cool. And they've got some breathtaking pieces that you can look at. So I think you can go hyper local or you can also think about your entire country, your entire nationality. And maybe if you're a blend, I mean, how many of us are one? My parents <laughs> are one of the few that literally just stick to the Greek heritage. But you know, now my husband's not Greek, so we've broken the line. <laughs> and now we bring in new stories and new heritages. And I think it's really fun to blend those and to create your unique space. Another trend that I absolutely love is the artist collaboration. I think this one is really interesting because I feel like the artist collaboration was really, really popularized by Etsy probably at least 10 years ago. Etsy just blew up this idea of being able to celebrate artists and, and handicrafts. But I feel like now companies are really discovering that we want this from bigger companies as well. So what you're seeing is that big companies, companies like West Elm and CB2, they're partnering with artists like Kristen Georgie and Elon Bird, and they are giving us incredible incredible beautiful finds that so many of us it would be out of our budgets honestly to be able to go to an artist of that caliber and yet they're helping really just get this into more hands i love that these companies are really wanting to help get support these artists first of all which is a pretty big deal and to give them this opportunity to get their names out i think that a lot a lot of times these items are limited edition and you're just able to grab a little something from an artist that you would never have even known about and i think that, that is really fun so check out places like West Elm and CB2, but also go to Etsy. And I think that looking for artists who are really of a higher caliber is something that you should really be looking out for. You can also look at places like Cherish and First Dibs. They do a lot of artist collaborations and, oh, One King's Lane's another really good one, especially if you have a more traditional style. They do a lot where they feature artists and they, they're sharing their stories and I, I love this trend, I hope it never goes away. I think that this is something that we should keep forever and ever, and I think the most exciting part is just discovering somebody new and bringing their work into our homes and just being able to celebrate what they've created and also just how that you connected with that story. I think that's what makes it so appealing and fun in our homes. Let me know down in the comments which one of these trends you are excited about, that you are obsessing over, or let me know if there's a trend that I don't know about. I, I heard that glitter grout was a thing. Are people really doing that? Surely that's like a TikTok thing, right? It, it has to be. Nobody in their right mind would actually put glitter into their grout, would they? The horror of it, literally, the horror of glitter pretty much anywhere. <laughs> I just avoid glitter in general. That's a trend that we are not doing here at House of Valentina. Just no, no glitter. <laughs> Not now, not ever. Uh, no, I'm like, is there any scenario? No, I never say never, but I'm pretty sure it's never on that one. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments if there are any trends that you are not jumping onto that I should know about that's happening. I feel like sometimes I get a little bit, when we get so busy in our projects, we just don't, 
We just don't have time to just peruse the internet and TikTok. And so sometimes I feel like stuff's happening and I don't know about it. So you guys let me know down in the comments if there are micro trends happening that we should be made aware of, or if you're super excited about these big ones. And honestly, if you see some trends in your area that you're really excited about, we would love to hear about them. We love to hear from you guys. You're literally coming from all parts of the world. And that is what, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about that and feel so grateful for it. So I am just delighted beyond words that we have this cool space where we are allowed to get together and have a community of people who are like-minded, who love to be able to create a home, a, a home that celebrates your uniqueness and your story. What could be better than that? So thank you so much. Please hit subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up if you love talking about trends, whether you love them or hate them. <laughs> it's just fun to talk about them. <laughs> And I'm going to finish sipping my coffee and I'm actually going to start packing for Copenhagen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.